When we talk of evolution, we're usually referring to a slow process occurring over long periods of time, like an era, which is a long period of time of up to millions of years during which a specific event or process occurred, or even aeons, which comes from a Latin word meaning forever, or an immeasurably long period of time. But right in front of our eyes and largely due to human influence, we're witnessing evolution occurring among many organisms trying to survive our predatory nature, and amongst these are elephants. It has been estimated that about 100 elephants are killed daily for ivory made from their tusks, which could be valued at up to 1,500 euros per pound and with a single tusk weighing up to 270 pounds. But elephant tusks are a distinct form of teeth, which unlike horns of other animals, actually develop with one third inside the elephant's skull and containing blood vessels, tissues and nerves, you know, just like human teeth. And so, to extract these tusks, the elephants need to literally be killed. However, this doesn't mean tuskless elephants never existed before, as naturally between 2-6% to of elephants are naturally born tuskless. This process is observed interestingly only among female elephants, as the trait which governs tusklessness when passed on to male elephants in the womb causes them to die before they are born. As if that is not enough, half of the male offsprings of tuskless mothers do not survive and this causes a rapid decline in the elephant population overall. The thing about elephant tusks is that they grow continuously over the life of an elephant and for males could grow up to seven times the weight of females of the same age. And since poachers naturally target elephants with the largest tusks, it means all the male elephants are the first to go followed by the younger males and then the older female elephants and this causes a disproportionate sex ratio of these giant creatures. Unknown to us, this process has been leaving behind a once minority group of tuskless elephants and today, this once rare trait is becoming the norm. And because this process is observed only among female elephants and also that tuskless female elephants only pass this trait on to female offsprings, it is believed that as the percentage of these tuskless female elephants increases, the proportion of male elephants will not be equivalent to the normal trend and the effects will be felt for generations to come. The situation in Africa is particularly disturbing, for example in Mozambique where heavy poaching during the civil war from 1977 to 1992 led to the targeting of elephants for their tusks, as ivory was used to fund the war and in this period up to 90% of the elephant population was effectively wiped out. Figures show that about a third of female elephants born after the war were born tuskless while about half of the older female elephants who survived the war were also tuskless. The situation was observed in other countries as well and even extreme in South Africa where 98% yeah, almost all of the 174 females in the Addo Elephant National Park were observed to be tuskless in the early 2000s. A glimmer of hope however exists as due to conservation efforts, several parks and sanctuaries are witnessing an increase in their elephant populations. This together with China's ban on the trade of ivory in 2017 and collective efforts to support anti-poaching might just give elephants, or should I say tusked elephants, a chance at survival. But we shouldn't forget this is mainly due to human activity and should serve as a call for concern to human indiscriminate exploitation of natural resources. Thanks very much for watching guys, you can find links to reference material in the description and for any comments or corrections, feel free to drop a comment as we will take them into consideration. Meanwhile you can like the video, share and support our social media platforms so we can continue making such educating and informative videos. Thanks very much for watching, until next time, bye bye.